Chances are, if you've heard of Firehouse Subs, you're a loyal fan. What started as a simple sandwich shop in Florida has expanded to just over 1,100 stores around the nation. And while it's not yet as well known as Subway, in 2017, Firehouse Subs was voted the most popular sandwich shop in the country. So why do people love it so much? Here's a look at some things you didn't know about Firehouse Subs. The Anti-Subway Called the anti-subway by Business Insider, Firehouse Subs doesn't bother trying to position itself as a healthy alternative to fast food. Instead, they focus on taste, piling their hefty sandwiches high with meats, cheese, and homemade sauces to satisfy customers with big appetites. How committed to meat is Firehouse Subs? When they finally began offering healthier options in 2014, rather than add veggies, they instead just began offering sandwiches with low-fat dressing and less bread. The founders boasted that even the under 500 calories sandwich menu has the exact same amount of meat as its more indulgent counterparts. Rags to Riches According to CNBC, founders Chris and Robin Sorensen only had $100 to their names when they first opened Firehouse Subs in Jacksonville, Florida in 1994. But the brothers, who come from a family of firefighters, believe that being broke led to the eventual success of their national sandwich chain. Robin told CNBC, Even though I didn't understand it at the time, being broke forced us to be patient, and that patience really turned out to be a service. We were able to learn a lot more about the business and grow at the right pace. Hurricane Katrina after Hurricane Katrina devastated the Gulf Coast in 2005, the Sorensen brothers donated time and equipment to help first responders in Mississippi. That led to a company-wide commitment to public service through the Firehouse Subs Public Safety Foundation, which has raised more than $33 million to help benefit first responders in 43 states and Puerto Rico, providing financial assistance and donating modern equipment to firehouses around the nation. The Firehouse Subs Public Safety Foundation, in my opinion, is the, is the best thing we've ever done. And the Firehouse Subs Public Safety Foundation is particularly busy during the holidays, providing free meals to first responders. Jim Sherman, who owns Firehouse franchises in Alabama, told Small Business Trends that the idea came from his daughter. I used to be in the Coast Guard and had duty on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Luckily, most of the time we had a galley that would feed us, but in a couple places, we didn't have that. So bringing food to those people during the holidays is something that's near and dear to me. The Unique Murals whether or not you're a fan of the elaborate firefighter-themed murals found on the inside of every Firehouse Subs location, they don't just exist to go with the first responder theme. Every mural in each of the Firehouse Subs locations is a unique tribute to the firehouse in the local community. Local fire departments get a say in what the mural looks like, and some even donate old photos and equipment to the restaurant to really spruce up the place. Surprisingly, every single mural in each of the Firehouse Subs restaurants has been created by the same artist, Joe Puskas. Puskas started each custom mural as a pencil sketch, and then he and his team paint them. They always feature a fire truck that's unique to that particular city or town, as well as some personalized details like the town's fire dog. According to Food Beast, the whole process can take up to 70 hours to complete. Level 55 Anyone who has been to a Firehouse Subs restaurant knows that it's a haven for hot sauce junkies. When you order a sandwich, you can top it with any number of hot sauces ranked from 1 to 10, or barely there to melt your face off. After Firehouse Subs got wind of hot sauce challenges posted to YouTube in 2015, they posted their own video of their ultimate Level 55 Hot Sauce Challenge, where they challenged customers to try each of the levels of hot sauce from 1 to 10 on their sandwich. This adds up to, you guessed it, 55. This challenge seems like it's more about pushing your limits and actually enjoying a sandwich, because who would want to dump 10 different types of sauce on their food? Don't hold the mayo. When you order a Firehouse Sub, you're going to get a generous helping of mayonnaise, because the Sorensen brothers believe that mayo is the glue that holds their sandwiches together. Robin told Thrillist, in the South, we put mayonnaise on everything, so it wasn't anything we even discussed. You put mayonnaise on a sandwich. The mayonnaise used on the sandwiches is in fact Duke's mayonnaise, which any Southerner would immediately recognize as the favorite spread of Dixieland. But that isn't the only hand-picked ingredient in a Firehouse Sub. Chris and Robin personally chose every part of the sandwich, which is why the pickles are from Katz's Deli in New York City, the bread is sourced from a French bakery in Atlanta, and the 16-hour smoked brisket comes from Sadler Smokehouse in Texas. Homemade Hook and Ladder if you don't have a Firehouse Sub nearby, don't worry, because you can make their signature hook and ladder sandwich yourself thanks to this copycat recipe from Genius Kitchen. Sure, it may not have all those fancy ingredients from around the world, but all you need is smoked turkey breast, honey-glazed ham, and melted Monterey Jack cheese, along with mayo, mustard, hot sauce, onions, and, of course, a toasted roll. Our mouths are watering just thinking about it.
Thanks for watching. Click the mashed icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.